news is coming out about the coronavirus, a lot of times it's hard to keep up, and that's exactly what scammers want. They're using the fear and the rapid developments to take advantage of you. Call for Action problem solver Carice Jackman tells us more about this new phishing scam. Every day, there seems to be a new alert about the coronavirus. Not only are scammers using this illness to trick you, they're doing so by pretending to be from legitimate health organizations. The security group SOFO sent out an alert this week about phony emails pretending to be from the World Health Organization. It tells you to go through the attached document on safety measures regarding the spread of the coronavirus. But look a little bit closer. You'll notice a ton of misspellings and grammatical mistakes. The scammer then tries to send you to a link asking you to verify your email address and password. Don't fall for it, that's how they get you and take your information. First of all, never let yourself feel pressured into clicking a link in an email. Don't act on advice you didn't ask for or weren't expecting. Another tip, never enter data into a website that wouldn't ask for your information in the first place. SOFO says there's no reason major world health organizations would want your email and password. Also check the URL before you type it in or click on a link. If it doesn't look right or has several typos, stay away. In Nashville, I'm Call for Action Problem Solver, Carice Jackman.